Kenneth Griffin has made incredible sums of money in his profitable life on Wall Street. He started his lucrative career at Harvard in 1986, trading online in home shopping, and since then he has clambered up to the top of the investment ladder. His current net worth is around $30 billion. Head of the Chitadel LLC hedge fund, Griffin's rise to the top of the multi-billion dollar investment ladder has been tempestuous. During the 2008 financial crisis, Chitadel lost hundreds of millions of dollars a month. But then our hero bounced back, earning $900 million in 2009, $1.4 billion in 2014, and a marvelous $1.8 billion in 2020. So please watch this video if you would like to learn more about our opulent 52-year-old entrepreneur, his dubious deals with the Robinhood trading platform, and of course the gorgeous properties that only a top billionaire can buy, and the rest of us mere mortals can only dream about. Who is Kenneth Griffin? No, we can't say he came from humble beginnings and struggled and starved on his way from rags to riches. His grandmother, Genevieve Hubschgratz, had an oil business, three farms, and a seed business, so I guess none of the Griffins ever went too hungry. 52-year-old Kenneth Griffin started his journey to the stars by trading out of his Harvard dorm room. More than 30 years later, he runs a giant financial firm and is one of the largest real estate investors in the world. He lost millions in the credit crisis of 2008. But today, Chitadel has more than $31 billion in assets, and Kenneth Griffin himself has $1 billion in real estate to his name. Lucky him! Read all about it, GameStop killer on the loose. Griffin's company, Chitadel LLC, is part of the GameStop drama. Chitadel became the center of attention and scandal from Washington to Silicon Valley to Wall Street to cyberspace. In 2021, GameStop got affected by curbs and trading imposed by Robin Hood. Griffin got the blame because he just happened to make billions out of the deal. The Republican Congress people that set up the scheme just happened to be friends of his too. Griffin has the power and influence that only billions of dollars can buy. In 2005, he hired Katy Perry and Maroon 5 at his own expense to sing to his loyal employees. Legendary singers Katy Perry and Adam Levine clearly love money too, but who doesn't? So that's enough criticism of poor Kenneth Griffin. It's not like he's got a social conscience to begin with or cares what you think even a little bit. He's got $27.2 billion to cure him of the loneliness that comes from stabbing us all in the back. But that's enough on him. Let's talk about the beautiful properties he has collected. The ones that none of us could ever afford to buy, but would love to see anyway. Billionaire Ken Griffin has been on a decade-long, sumptuous real estate buying spree. His latest purchase being Miami Beach's exclusive Star Island, which has boosted his global residential real estate investment portfolio to $1 billion. Told you he was rich. Star Island Compound In 2022, he bought a Miami compound for more than $100 million shattering the previous price record. This property has 400 feet of water frontage and two beautiful mansions too. LeBron James and Sylvester Stallone have owned homes in this exclusive neighborhood, so he's clearly got great taste and neighbors. One of his mansions is called Villa Serena, and the other is the Indian Spring Residence. Both mansions cover a total of more than 20,000 square feet and have a private harbor on Biscayne Bay. These two properties have a guest house, two garages, and a tennis court. His Villa Serena mansion is Mediterranean Revival style built in 1913. This property claims a spot on the National Register of Historic Places. Griffin had it renovated. There are three bedrooms and the grand living spaces are lined with Cuban tile floors. It has a big backyard to play in too. Griffin's Indian Spring residence was built in 1999. This house has a stunning dining room with a large table and wooden furniture, decorated with colorful curtains and flowery turquoise walls. The living room has large windows with water views. This house has five bedrooms, five bathrooms, a chef's kitchen, an office, a salon, a gym, and a garden room overlooking a terrace. The patios extend the living room outside. They lead to the spa and the swimming pool. The yard is simply gorgeous with a perfectly cut lawn. Hopefully Griffin pays his gardener well, because this piece of grass is a masterpiece. The dining room can seat over 20 guests. There is a separate apartment and office upstairs with a six-car garage. The design boasts carved ceilings, marble floors, and a direct view of the water. Rounding it all out, a full-size tennis court and pool, a two-bedroom, two-bath guest suite, 
and a gym atop the six-car garage. Other highlights include a gourmet kitchen outfitted with a center island, a wood-panelled office and panoramic city views, along with balconies, walk-in closets and baths. The seller is Adrienne Ascht, Miami-based businesswoman and philanthropist, who donated $30 million to the Miami Center of Performing Arts in 2008. She used to be the head of the family business, Total Bank, that got sold to Banco Popular in Spain for $300 million in 2007. Philanthropist Adrian Asht paid only $4 million for the property in 1996 and sold it for more than $100 million 16 years later. That's a $96 million profit. She's clearly a good businesswoman too. Palm Beach. So billionaire hedge fund manager Ken Griffin has made plenty of news in Palm Beach because he plans to open an office of his Chittadel financial empire in the Neiman Marcus building on Worth Avenue, the town's shopping thoroughfare. Griffin has spent at least $450 million over nearly seven years to assemble about 25 acres. The beachfront estate lies a quarter mile south of former President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago Club on the stretch of South Ocean Boulevard that is known to locals as Billionaire's Row. Central Park Penthouse Kenneth Griffin just loves splashing out. In 2019, he bought a New York penthouse overlooking the iconic Central Park for only $238 million. It encompasses floors 50 through 53 at 220 Central Park South. This is the most anyone has ever paid for a home in the US. This is not a surprise. Few of us have $238 million to spare. Griffin even bought only the space, which means that even after paying $238 million, Griffin will likely spend millions more to design, build and furnish this massive real estate investment. The award-winning architect Robert Stern designed this perfect piece of New York real estate that boasts central air conditioning, a state-of-the-art health and fitness center, a spa and a huge outdoor pool lined with elegant lighting. The project comprises of an 18-story chalet fronting the street and a 79-story tower rising behind. The interiors were designed by Thierry Despont. The exterior is clad in limestone and amenities include private dining rooms, an athletic club, a juice bar, a library, a basketball court, a golf simulator and a children's play area. Griffin has rich and famous neighbours there. British singer Sting and his wife Trudy Styler have also bought a piece of the action. Buckingham Palace The hedge fund tycoon has also snapped up a £95 million mansion near Buckingham Palace. The gigantic 200-year-old Georgian home in central London boasts a gym, pool, underground extension and a view of the palace. The house makes Griffin a neighbour to King Charles III and other members of the royal entourage. The address is 3 Carlton Gardens and it overlooks the Mall and St James Park in central London. It is the most expensive home sold in the UK since 2011, but Griffin got it at a discount. He bought it for £95 million, but the developers once discussed a £145 million price tag. Griffin's new London property comes complete with a pool, staff quarters and private gardens. It used to be used by MI6, British intelligence. Selling out. But Kenneth Griffin isn't just buying up real estate. He is selling out too. He is planning to relocate from Chicago to Miami and has put his Chicago properties up for sale. He is selling his near north side condos at combined asking prices of $54.5 million. One of these condominiums has six bathrooms, two fireplaces, two offices, a bonus room, a private gallery entryway with floor to ceiling wood panelling, a living room with mahogany floors and an eating kitchen with a built-in pantry and bar, stone countertops, two large wine refrigerators and stainless steel appliances. The primary bedroom has a terrace, two exposures, and three walk-in closets. If you have any spare money, maybe you could invest in this too.